this quite a seat for a bit of a long time coming. What do you think about that and the, the time you've been in after? And oh man. Um, it's been a very frustrating time, believe it or not. It's one of the hardest times of my life um, at the minute because um, a lot of personal problems have happened and I thought the fight was happening in February. Yeah. And you know what I mean? Then it was March, then it was May, June, July, now September. So it's been a very um, tested and very frustrating time. And funny enough, I was only talking to my mum and dad the other day about hard times and I was just saying like maybe I don't know, God's preparing me for, for a tough fight, you know what I mean, mentally I, I feel very strong and it's been like, like I said, very testing times, but... Um, How did you feel when it actually got locked down in that post I was very happy, man, you know what I mean, just, I, I went through so many emotions throughout the year of thinking, yeah, I'm fighting, no, I'm not fighting, yes, I am, so just to finally get it set was just kind of like, at last. You know what I mean? So I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You last fought in December, but I'm right. So what have you been doing in that time? Um, <laughs> like I said, you know what I mean? I, I, like every other month or every month, it seemed like I was gonna fight, and then it, it didn't happen. So um, it's kind of like I start getting ready for camp, and then oh no, you're not fighting. So I, I'd relax a bit, and then they say, oh, but it's next month now. So you start getting ready for that, and it's like. Um, like I said, it, to be honest, it pissed me off a lot because, you know what I mean, I, I wanted to um, take my time to improve on my skills. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean, if you had have said to me, um, you'd be from December, you'd be fighting next September, then I'd have used my time a lot better. Yeah, I, I'd, I'd have gone out, I'd have earned money doing something else. You know what I mean, obviously this is my livelihood, so to fight for not nine months, you know what I mean, it's been a struggle. Um, again, you know what I mean, I could use my time better um, as far as like just focusing, just focusing on certain skills. You know what I mean, I'm. I'm happy with the improvements I've made. I feel like I'm the best fighter I've ever been. Um, so I've still been making all my improvements that I wanted to make, but uh, you know I, mean? I just think I could have used it a bit more efficiently, a bit better. So like I said, a bit frustrating, but is what it is, I'm ready to go. When well, we're just talking off camera, you kind of said something which is what I was going to bring up, in that you kind of keep a little bit of your last fight going to your next fight. And when you fought Ball, you didn't seem yourself still, but when you fought Gonzalez, you just seemed so sharp, but so like the Andre winner that we know. How did you feel both those fights went? Oh, um, I just followed the game plan, to be honest with you. Um, it wasn't like, not the Andre winner, it wasn't like, obviously I lost Ant Anthony and Jokowani, and I got a bit roughed up in that fight, you know what I mean? So, some people might have looked at it like, oh, he took a few shots and he doesn't want to get stuck in, and he's a bit cautious now, but it wasn't that, it was just like, obviously Jason's best attribute to his fights is, is his hands yeah, and so um, I could have gone in there and box with him but instead I, I tried to um, use my kicks because obviously ever, I, um, everyone always says oh you should use your kicks and everything like that it's MMA and I hadn't really shown much of it in, in, in my previous fights and um, you know I mean? I've got a karate background and I, and I know I can kick well so I just thought you know what I mean like Jason he likes to um, stand in the pocket throw his hands so I knew that if I use my movement and use my kicks and I just gave myself something to work on something to improve on so I just use that fight to grow as a fighter and um, the Gonzalez fight again you look a lot more dangerous than the Gonzalez fight yeah um, you know I mean in the Gonzalez fight um, the main thing that I wanted to work on in that fight was pressure and, and, and that's what I did, you know what I mean, if you look at it from round one, people might look at it and think, oh, it looked kind of even, but it wasn't, you know what I mean, well, it, I mean, as far as like how much we threw, it was similar, but as far as like how, who was landing whatever shots and um, the impacts they were having and who was wanting to do what, like I, I was achieving what I wanted to do and um, I wasn't really taking much damage for it, so, um, you know what I mean, I, like, the main, like I said, the main thing was pressure. Obviously, I've been working a lot with my coach, Chris Pyatt, on my boxing. Obviously, I've been working with my brother all my life, Michael Winner. But I've been working even more with him now. Um, he's helped me out so much. And um, both him and Chris here, like, uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday nights. And I've been working hard. And we just worked on a lot of pressure for that fight. And that's what I wanted to do, just go in there and put pressure. What guys are going to have in your corner? Yeah. What guys are going to have in my corner? Uh, depends on how many cornermen I can have. <laughs> I'd have as many as possible, <laughs> but um, no, obviously um, my two cornermen that I've always had is my brother Michael Winner and um, Paul Barton, both of those guys have been amazing for me, you know what I mean, they've been there from the start, they've always given me their time, they've never asked anything of me, they've always wanted to give and I, you know what I mean, I can't thank them enough. Um, also, my boy Emerson George, if he's around, um, I'd have him in there daily, you know what I mean, I'd have daily in there, I love having um, Paulie around because he's just got this kind of like energy, this attitude and um, we, we work well together and you know what I mean, I, I like the whole 
um, energy he's got in the changing room, get the music on, it's, it's kind of like a party, you know what I mean, it's that confidence, you know what I mean, going out there, got the tunes bumping, you're ready to go out there and win. Obviously, um, Victor Esteemo, my jiu-jitsu coach, would be great to have him there, and obviously Chris would be great to have as well. Cool, um, let's talk about your opponent then, um, C4. He's been a bit a bit quiet as well, you know. I couldn't tell you what's gonna happen with uh, what's going on with um, C4 because you know I mean you'd have to ask him. Um, I'm assuming that he's had the time off and he will have worked on his skills to try and improve himself. I'm sure we'll see an even better version of it of himself. I'm not sure if he'll suffer from ring rust. I don't know if he's that type of person or that type of fighter. So I, I don't know, but I expect. Um, the best um, Rob Sinclair we've seen, so I'm, that's what I'm training for. Yeah, Ed, well he's defended his title twice, do you think mm -hmm. he's going to be confident going in and defending it again? Well, he should be his champion, isn't it? So if you, if you ain't confident when you're champion, I don't know when you'll ever be confident. But yeah, um, I think... Can afford to be confident with you? Because, you know, without Van Housen, um, Rob Sinclair, you are... You have different experiences, you might just have that edge because of what you've done before. You think that's something you should be wary of? Hey, you know what? <laughs> I, I honestly think I'm the better fighter. Obviously, I do because that's coming from me. Um, he probably say the same about himself, but um, <laughs> who knows? But I, I know come fight time and come fight night, I'm gonna go out and win my fight. You know what I mean? I've never been so focused in my life. I never wanted to go out there and perform as much as I do now. So I just want to go out there perform well. Like I said, I'm very focused and I just want to work hard, work hard with my fight. Looking from C4's side, do you think he's, um, he's might yeah. the option B is to try and get you on your back and try and grind a TKO finish out with you, Bear and Sam with you? Well, I've never been knocked out or TKO'd, so... That's the way he, kinda, he would normally go around and finish um, Yeah, he, he'll probably try that, you know what I mean? He, he wants to go out there and win the fight. Like I said, you'd have to ask Rob those questions yeah. because only, only Rob could tell you those things. But um, that's not going to happen. Um, your last couple of fights have gone distance. Do you think there's a possibility of that happening over five rounds? Or is it I, I, I can't see it being a, um, a, a decision, no. You got any I can't. I honestly can't see it being a decision. I'll just quickly just speak out how I feel and like, um, like I said, I've, it's one of the roughest times of my life. And like I said, I, I feel as though like, I want to go in there, boss the fight, and um, just dominate and make the fight mine. If that doesn't happen and it's a tough fight, I feel as though the things that happen in, in my life and the things I've been going through um, is preparing me mentally to, to be ready for a tough fight. Whatever happens, you know what I mean, in the fight, whether it's a hard fight, whether I do exactly what I want to do and it all runs smoothly, I'm going out there, I'm going to win my fight. I've never been more focused. I never wanted to win a fight so bad. So I'm just going to go out there and, and be the Andre winner that I can be. Are you kind of person that bothers about about, or is it more the fight for you? <laughs> Not to be disrespectful, but I honestly, I'm I'm about winning my fight, performing, and getting my money. Um, I'm not really bothered about belt. Rob can keep the belt if he wants the belt. You know what I mean? He can keep the belt. I just want the money. I, I want the money. I want the win. You know what I mean? There's there's bigger things in life for me right now, like putting food on the table, <laughs> making money, stuff like that. You know what I mean? People out here are hungry, man. Everyone's going through a recession. It's just not. It's not just me. You know what I mean? Everybody. There's a lot of people around me that are hungry. You know what I mean? And like. Those things are more important to me. Obviously, it'd, it'd be nice to have a belt and all those kind of things, but um, go out there, win my fight, make my money. They, 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 yeah, that's what's important to me, you know what I mean? I, I've had a son, and you know what I mean? I want to give him nice things. I know, you know what I mean? Everyone's got kids and stuff like that, so you know, I'm not like the only person out there. You know what I mean? Rob's got a. Uh, a child, so you know, what I mean, obviously, he's gonna be fighting hard and everything. He, you know, what I mean, I'll be honest with you, I really respect Rob because, um, as far as I know, um, Rob holds on a full time job and he fights and he's got to where he's got to, so you know, what I mean, <laughs> you gotta give him a lot of props, and, he, and he's a real nice guy as well. So, there's no animosity from me, there's a lot of respect, and um, 
I said, expect a good fight, but on, on another note, I'm going out there uh, and I'm looking for a finish. Yeah. Uh, you know I mean, you know, I want to thank Chris Pye, my boxing coach. The gym's open uh, Monday to Fridays, four to six. Get down there. You know what I mean? We've got a great coach here. Yeah, yeah Victor Estima, Gracie, Baha, Nottingham. You know what I mean? He's, he's, he's a great coach, real nice guy, a good friend of mine. And you know, I mean, he's helped me no end. Um, and obviously, Paul Bart and Michael Winner, two of my closest friends. I'm a brother, you know, what I mean, so um, he's my, yeah, I, I can't thank them enough. And obviously, well, hang on, and obviously, all the team rough you know, what I mean, judo, gym, all them kind of guys daily, all the boys that have been there throughout helping me, man. Craig Turner, um, Charles, all the up and comers, thank you very much for helping me, man. Any sponsors? Um, yeah, Booster, Maxi Muscle, I want to thank those guys, they've been outstanding. Yeah, supported you, man. Yeah. Cool. Well, that's it. Thank you very Thanks much. Nice one, guys. Much appreciated. Thanks a lot, man. Thank, Thank you. you.